Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony says since the rollout of government's COVID-19 immunization campaign for adolescents, some 18,299 children ages 12 to 17 have received their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. He was speaking during Monday's COVID-19 update. In Region, um, Region 9, let's start with that because Region 9 percentage-wise would have been um, at 57.6% of the people who were within that age range would have received their first dose. That in absolute numbers would be 1,364 persons in Region 9 who would have received the vaccine. In Region 6, we have uh, 3,209 persons who would have received their first dose. Uh, region 3, 2,939 persons. That would be about 27.9% of uh, that population. Uh, region 5, 1,340 persons. That's about 27.5% of the regional population. Uh, region 2, 1,134 persons have received the first dose. That's about 24.8% of the population. Uh, region 4, we have 7,354 persons who have received the first dose Pfizer. That's about 24.2% um, of the persons within that age group. Region 7, 342, that represents about 19.1%. Uh, region 1, uh, 385, that's 14.3% uh, of that region's population. Region 10, 226, uh, that's about 5.8% of the population. And in Region 8, we've had six persons so far, that's about 0.6% of the population. Minister Anthony added that the government is hoping to immunize the adolescent population as quickly as possible. But it all depends on how many uh, persons are coming in. Yeah. If people are not going to be coming in fast enough, then the period would be protracted. So uh, we want to advise parents to make sure that they bring their children out to get vaccinated. There are two requirements. One is that you have to show proof of age so that you're between the ages of 12 to 17 and also to get parental consent. So once we have those two things, uh, we'll be able to vaccinate your child. Guyana received 146,250 doses of the Pfizer vaccine from the United States government for the immunization of the adolescent population. The Pfizer vaccine donation is part of a larger donation of 5.5 million doses to CARICOM.